Hello, I'm Darm again. Today's topic is continuing on from the previous video, looking at how narcissistic people behave in and around special occasions such as birthdays and Christmas. In the last video, I looked at some of the common attitudes and behaviours around special occasions. In this video, I'm going to be looking at some of the common motivations behind buying gifts for people and some of the common attitudes and behaviours around receiving gifts. So just to remind you, narcissism is often characterised by a sense of entitlement and being self-absorbed. They can be very disagreeable and highly resistant to criticism. There is a constant need for validation and admiration and a lack of empathy for others. And these characteristics would be long term. They would be consistent and pervasive, not just once in a while. So to begin with, Narcissists can be quite transactional and self-serving. They generally don't do anything unless there's something in it for them. And special occasions such as birthdays, Christmas or whatever can be an excellent opportunity to gain narcissistic supply. They get to show people exactly what they think of them. They also get to be praised. And when it comes to special occasions, narcissists can be just like anybody else. They can be incredibly generous very thoughtful when it comes to buying gifts. They can also be quite mean-spirited. Although the following might really depend on where someone is on that narcissistic scale, it would mostly apply to a long-standing relationship of some kind. But first of all, they might not buy anything for anyone. Maybe it's not on their radar, or maybe there's nothing in it for them they don't feel any obligation to. Or they might buy everybody in a particular group, perhaps in a family, Buy everybody a gift except one person. Single them out to show their displeasure. Then there can be token gifts that they don't put a lot of thought into. Now, yes, we can all buy something small and trivial for people, perhaps on the periphery of our social circle. But a narcissist might not necessarily put any thought into something for somebody even close to them. Maybe it's just whatever's convenient, whatever they could pick up on the way home. And it's not necessarily because they didn't have the time, they were too busy or they don't have a lot of money. Sometimes it's really because they don't have a lot of empathy so they might not fully understand or perhaps even care about what someone might really like. But they might still expect gratitude and feel offended if they don't get it. That being said, they might also expect a present that is worthy of them. Then there can be insulting gifts. Gifts that are aimed at maybe embarrassing or making a point. For instance, they might buy someone with a beard a packet of razors. These kind of gifts can often be hidden behind cruel, unkind humour or feigned innocence. If they get challenged for their unkind gift, well, that person is maybe branded as being ungrateful, unreasonable or having no sense of humour. It might even lead to a blow-up, a huge fight, so therefore the day is ruined for everyone. Some narcissists might actually buy a gift for somebody that they would really like to have themselves. They get to look good, they get to look generous, that person might even be very appreciative. But they never get to see the gift again, the narcissist just keeps it themselves. There are those who can be very generous, very extravagant, spend a lot of money, a lot of time and effort, but not necessarily for those closest to them, to those that they want to impress, those closest to them, their partners, their kids, maybe just get token gestures. If they are being generous with their partners and their kids, well, this works on different levels. Many narcissists tend to see others as extensions of themselves. If others are impressed by the generosity of the gifts, their ego is getting fed because they were the ones who provided it. Narcissists can also be very competitive. They like to think that maybe they buy the best gifts. Many enjoy that kind of adoration from others. They enjoy hearing things from others like, wow, that is so generous. I feel so bad, all I bought you was whatever. They get to present and maintain an image of being loving, generous and kind. And it can be something of an ego boost for them if they think others are envious of how much money they've spent. Gift giving can also be a way for a narcissist to show who they favour more than others, who they value more than others, where their preferences lie. For instance, the golden child might get the latest iPhone or whatever it is. The scapegoat might get a bar of chocolate and be expected to share that chocolate. Now, it's not uncommon for people to agree, rather than buying each other gifts, maybe they could donate that money to charity. An altruistic narcissist might actually make that decision 
for the other person without even discussing it. So the other person is left with nothing. And if they say anything, well, they might be told they're being greedy and selfish. What about those poor people over there? And this is a bit of a win-win for a narcissist because they get the virtue signal in front of others and feed off that negative energy of the disappointment. An altruistic narcissist might also insist in front of other people. Do not buy me anything. Make sure the money goes to that worthy cause, which of course the other person does. However, the narcissist still expects a gift to open. But regardless of the price, the nature of the gift, or even the type of narcissist, gifts can be used as a form of manipulation. It can be a way of keeping a partner trauma bonded. A partner's life might be being made a misery, but a thoughtful, expensive gift can have them question themselves. Well, maybe they've changed this time. Maybe they really do love me. Maybe it's going to be great from here on in. Gifts can be used as a way of making someone indebted to them somehow. They have to be eternally grateful. They're forever telling that person how good of them it was to buy that, how much it cost, how hard it was to find. Gifts can also be used as collateral. What do you mean I don't care? Do you know how much that cost? What do you mean when you say no? After what I bought you? So how are narcissists about receiving gifts? Well, I think narcissists tend to like gifts that reflect their status. As I said, they can be competitive, so they want the best. If it is something they do like, something extravagant, well, they like to compare that to other people's gifts. They like to brag, look how much this cost, look how much I'm loved. They enjoy the adoration and the envy. This might bring up in others. Then there are those who just want something to moan about. Doesn't matter what it was, they'll complain about what they got, what they didn't get. Draw attention to how disappointed, unappreciated they feel. The gifts they bought for other people were far more expensive. There are those who might insist they don't want anything at all and then complain they didn't get anything at all. Then there are those who may just open a gift, look at it, then set it down, not even acknowledge it. It's not that big a deal because someone else's gift for them was so much better. They might not even hide their disappointment. Is this all you got me? Did you see what I got you? So again, what we see is that sense of entitlement and competition. They might even just open the gift and hand it straight back. I don't want that. I don't like those things. That's not my brand. Expect the person to go and exchange it for them for what they do want. Or in a close relationship, say a partnership, one might buy the other one maybe an expensive watch, an expensive perfume, nice jewellery, the latest electronic gadget. The narcissist looks at it, thanks them for it, then asks for the receipt so that they can go and change it for the one they would really like. So I guess to sum it up, if they can't get admiration and envy, they'll settle for pity and misery. So whether it's gift giving or receiving, regardless of the thought or the lack of thought that goes into it, one way or another, remember, it's about them. So that's a brief outline of some of the dynamics around gift giving and receiving. As always, a lot of things I haven't added. Please feel free to use the comment box below. There are some interesting conversations stored around these videos. But if you like this video, if you find it interesting, please consider subscribing to my channel. And until next time, thanks for watching. The uh, car air freshener and the box of light bulbs was very generous. Just what I needed. Thank you.